<clears throat> All right, guys, so you already know the situation. There's always a part one to a video and a part two to a video. So this is part two. Now, in this portion of the video, I'm going to show you guys how to um, basically get into the um, newest boss without being the required rank. Now, the last boss was the Ancient Magma boss, and you needed to be a Ninja Legend rank to actually fight that boss. And you guys saw the situation, and I'm currently not a Ninja Legend. I'm still a Master Sensei, but very OP at this current rank. And I'm still questioning, should I rank up? And a lot of you guys keep telling me, yes, go for it, do it. So maybe once i am successfully finished with completing everything that i need to actually complete in this game then if i get bored i will go through the whole process of you know ranking up to being the strongest rank that i can possibly be um but i do want to say that i kind of hate the fact that i you know am never going to be on any one of these lists a lot of people in this game, you know, they super play this game all day long. I take breaks, you know, several times a day, but I do make sure I am playing this game, you know, enough so that way I can collect my chests and everything like that. So there is this new feature that they added in the game and it's called, you know, duels. Now, the duel is basically you're going up against other players, but you're actually being rewarded for killing people. And you have to be the last person standing in order to um, receive gems after, you know, the round is over. So they teleport you and you have to, you know, take out other players in this like little ring area that they made inside of this map. It's pretty cool. So yeah, you know, I've been doing that, working on my sniping skills. A lot of people are running around in the duels, sniping each other. So that's pretty cool that nobody was actually using swords and stuff like that. But anyway, your boy was successful in winning 27 rounds today. So that was pretty cool. And I got paid a lot of gems for that. So you can see that right there. So... That is one way you build your gems up. The second way you can build up gems is by taking out the new boss, and that is the Santa um, Samurai boss. It's like this red, glossy, robotic Santa, and it's pretty cool, but it's very, very strong, and it has 6,500 health. That's crazy, right? But there is a reason why it's so strong, because it's going to give you the biggest reward out of all of the bosses. Times 15, and you also get gems for defeating that boss. So, just imagine, you take out that boss by yourself. In the end, you're going to have tons of chi, and you're going to have tons of gems. That's going to be crazy, right? Now, let me make things even crazier. Now, if you go over to the store, you can see that there is um, auto train options. There's an auto sell option, but there is also a times 10 in chi and a times 10 in coins. Ladies and gentlemen, these boost right here. Imagine buying one of these or both of them at the same time and you take out the newest boss that's going to make you the richest player in the game or close to being it. So that's just an idea to put in the back of your minds. Now, before this thing dies, let's actually get to what we're supposed to be doing. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over here to the eternal boss because that is where the um, Santa boss is actually located. It's close by here. So um, back here is another training area over there, but we're going over here this time instead of going this way. Because if you go this way, that's the other way towards um, the ancient magma boss. So we're going to go this way. Same thing applies. 
as you can see, when I jump, you can see the boss over there, far away in the distance. But over this mist, you can actually jump. So what you're going to want to do is make sure you jump and land on this green little island first. Now, mind you guys, the boss, once they do their whole power-up thing where they jump up into the sky, then they come back and land down on the ground, they can actually knock you out of the ring and kill you. So just make sure that when you're taking out this boss, every time to use your jumps, because if you don't jump back up from this mist, you will actually die because this it, it takes you off of the map. And I honestly thought it was just, you know, clouds or water, but it's actually nothing. It's literally a mist. I actually fall and die, you know what I'm saying? And when you die, obviously you lose your kill streak. So if you have a pretty good kill streak going on and you're fighting these bosses, make sure you don't get knocked out of the ring. So there it is right here. And this is how you get in. Same thing, you just jump over here, and this, you don't have to be the required rank. Okay, so this always happens. Um, I don't know why it happened during the making of this video, which is really bad. I cannot see where the boss is. Ah, uh, man. Am I going the wrong way? Okay, yeah, I was going the wrong way. <laughs> I was going backwards. Oh, man. I already know some people was probably getting ready to dumbs down this video. But, yep, this is how you get in to the boss. And, as you can see, 6,500. But when we attack, watch this. As you can see, you're getting gems and you're also getting chi. And just off of that one little hit, I already stacked up 1.8 billion chi. So if you guys enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, drop a thumbs up, and comment down below. And I will catch you all in the next one as always. Peace.